Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Tonight, temperatures are cooling into the 40s and a few of us in the 50s overnight. We'll call it a overcast sky with the chance for an isolated shower. That's going to keep things a little cooler to the north, a little warmer to the south. That front sagging on in. 49 in DeKalb, 43 in Columbus, 39 in Tupelo. We're at 35 in Oxford and Ripley overnight tonight. As we look ahead then to Friday, overall, I think we start today overcast, but I think there will be some breaks in the clouds as we end of the afternoon for some of us. Temperatures in the middle heading for the mid to upper 50s. To the south, we're a little bit warmer. We've got some 60s from Kosciuszko to Macon and Point Southward. 61 in Louisville, still upper 50s in Starkville, Columbus, and West Point. 58 also in Winona. Into West Alabama, I've got 60 in Vernon, 61 Reform, Hamilton at 56. And then a little cooler to the north, 53 in Ripley, 55 in Tupelo, Aberdeen at 57. Again, I think we do see some breaks in the sun and uh, see some sunshine into the afternoon here. Here's what Futurecast shows on uh, the day tonight into overnight uh, through the morning hours. By late night tonight, could see a few scattered showers out there. I don't expect a whole lot of them. We'll keep our eyes on it. Notice, get some sunshine trying to sneak on in according to Futurecast. I'm going to hedge my bets and say I think that's what plays out. But still, we're back to an overcast sky as we head through Saturday night, uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, rather. And we start to watch for some more showers and storms. Now, there is a little bit of a severe threat this weekend. We'll have to keep our eyes on it. It's going to depend where that boundary ends up settling. If it settles to our south, that keeps the severe threat to our south. We'll be okay. We still will see some rain. But if that boundary is able to lift to the north end, that severe threat may, in fact, come into our region. We'll have to keep our eyes on that. Uh, and I think it may settle somewhere between the Tennessee border and I-2059, which will include a part of our area. And uh, so that's something we'll have to see. Here's what the Futurecast says. It says by Saturday that boundary is actually just a little bit to the north of us here. If this plays out, then that severe threat will, in fact, be a uh, uh, factor. We have Saturday night through the day on Sunday before by Sunday afternoon. I think things clear on out and we cool things off. Storm Prediction Center also agrees with me. The latest has a slight risk. That's a level two out of five for our entire viewing area. Again, we're looking at Saturday night through about Sunday, late afternoon, early evening hours. We'll be sure and keep things updated as we go along. In addition, expecting some more rain across the area. The heaviest bands will be along and south of US 82, one to two inches likely through Monday. I don't think it's enough to cause flooding problems, but we'll have to keep our eyes on that. The river level should not rise that much from this. It's going to take a whole lot more than this to cause those types of problems. After this front pushes on through, though, man, old man winter is on its way back. That cold front sinks on in Monday and Tuesday, looking very cold. Another winter chill, in fact, Look at these future cast models here. Temperatures into uh, uh, the wind chills, that is, into the teens across the area. Bitter cold air to start off our Monday. Here's how the next seven days shape out here across our area. Again, some showers possible as we head through Friday and on Saturday. Looks like Sunday's the day for rain and storms. Temperatures warm in the morning, falling into the 20s by Sunday night. Wind chill values will be in the teens across the area. Monday, still cold, keeping that cold weather through Wednesday, although we do get some sunshine in next week.